Hey, hey, this is Dan Morris with FreeWeeklyMastermind.com. Today we are talking about BrainstormTools.com and exactly how the keyword tool works. This is the word, this is the tool that I use uh, to optimize uh, the websites that I work on, and it is the tool that I recommend that you get. So if you have a chance, check out uh, BrainstormTools.com. It will tell you lots more about it. So uh, basically, when you buy it. Um, you get access to two other things, tutorials to help you go along. There's going to be many, but in particular, you get the action guide. And the action guide, which is divided into days instead of chapters, I might as well just call them chapters. There's all that there. Um, day three includes all kinds of information on brainstorm tools. There's a guide that you can read or you can watch videos about how to use it. I would encourage you to check that out. You can also click this little question mark, and that brings you all kinds of information about how to use it right here. Each one of these radio buttons produces a new description in the right. If you have questions about any of these, you can click here for more information about what it is, or click here. I would encourage you to do that for the seed generator. I'm not going to talk about that, but I will talk about vertical and lateral. Vertical is any search, if you're searching for the term donkey, it would be any search that includes the word donkey, donkey farming, donkey breeding, donkey republican, donkey and Shrek, donkey Eddie Murphy, anything with the word donkey. A lateral brainstorm, if you searched for the word donkey, would return farm animals. Uh, animals that eat grass, a Republican Party or Democrat Party logo, um, Eddie Murphy movies. It would re return, you know, things that are related to the word donkey. Click here for more information about that. If we go to the vertical brainstorm. It gives you two more options: singular and plural, or singular or plural. Sometimes the word that you're looking for does not have a plural, like the word mumps. Mumps is just mumps. Um, so it is what it is. So you would pick singular or plural because there's no plural version. Singular and plural will return with an S. It'll add an S or an ES to the end. So let's search for Republican logo. Now we'll do icon. We want to keep these as small as possible to make this tutorial easy. I'm going to search for it. So we got Republican icons, Republican elephant, Republican party. We got five total keywords, five, for this particular search. See so the search word Republican icon. You can search for the, by the demand. The demand tells you how many people in a 30-day period search for that. So 113 search for Republican icons in any given month. And there are the supply. There are six websites that are currently optimized for that term. So if you're good with your SEO and you follow the instructions uh, within Brainstorm Tools, uh, you can be on the first page of Google quite easily since there are only six others that are optimized. Here, 23 a month, four optimized. This year, the profitability column is really just an index. This index tells you how m tells you it's really just to compare Republican icons versus Republican elephant icons. It's hard to tell which one of these is better. In this particular example, 113 searches a day and six, you know, it's easy to tell that's a better keyword than 23 with the four supply. But the index makes it even clearer to you how much better. You also have a column for notepads. Um, I don't use that particular column or that particular column, although this will tell this will tell you information about those six, and then we'll get to that in a minute. So. I would encourage you after each particular keyword that you research is that you export them to Excel. The way you do that is this little drop down menu here. You can check them all if you want to export them all to Excel, in which case you would export checked. If you and I would really only do that if you're going to uh I would do export checked if you're not going to export them all, just some of them. And we do export checked. Export current means whatever's in this window. 
you're going to export everything that's in this window. So if you have all here, in which case there are nine, you would export them all to Excel. Or if you did Donkey Republican, which we searched for earlier, you would only be exporting three. Or if we did Elephant Democrat, you would be only sorting three. That's current. Export all means you're going to export them all, all nine. And then export checked down there, which I said. Uh, and then keyword only, KW only, KW only, KW only. That just means you're going to export just this column. One other thing that you can do with the keyword tool is get Google dollars. That means you can figure out how much the ads are paying for where people are advertising on these keywords. To do that, I always click the little question mark and I scroll down a little bit until I get to the link. Here's the link here. There you go. It takes you to this particular page. This is the page that we're going to use right here. Now if you go back, it will tell you how to exactly do this. The first thing after you click there is you search for up to 250. So you can only do this for 250 keywords at a time. It's kind of tedious, but most of the time you won't need more than that. We have nine, so that's not going to be an issue. Then, let me get rid of this. Okay, so you can only do 250. We're going to sort these alphabetically. There we go. We only have nine. We're going to export all keyword only. Open with to here. We're going to copy those right there. Sorry, you probably couldn't see that, but all I did was c copy them all and pasted them right there. One per line. There are nine. Max CPC, we'll write a hundred. Daily budget, write a thousand. Just use those general guidelines. Hopefully we get this right. I doubt we will. Can't tell what that is. All right. Here we have all of them. We are going to, I guess, download all in XML. Download. Uh, we will save. We will go back over here. We will get Google Dollars import the Google Dollars. We will find that file that we just saved we put on our desktop. There it is there. Import Google. Return to the master keyword list. Now we will have... Ooh, look at that, nothing. So then we have to go over here to columns and we have to add these three. Those particular ads, is that what they said? Oh, look at that. They pay nothing. Now, in most cases, <laughs> you'll actually get money show up in here. And then when you pull it back, you got money. So, unfortunately, they don't pay anything. So don't, don't write articles about these things. Nobody's bidding on them. There's just really no way to monetize that. Uh, if you sort by supply, will tell you your best keyword to go after. This would then also tell you exactly how much Google is paying for those keywords if you are if you are working on them. Um, and as you can see, it's not that much. That's pretty much everything with the brainstorm at brainstormtools.com. Um, if you have any other questions, let me know. This is Dan Morris, freeweeklymastermind.com.